hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be making a wig with my machine and my hand so right now I'm going to show you the dome cap that I use this cap I bought at my local beauty supply store you can get yours at Amazon or you can buy at your local beauty supply store so now I'm going to show you the front and the back of the dome cap because you have two different parts you have the front and the back so the front part should be looking like this and then the back part should be looking like a triangle so this is the back part the triangle part is the back part and the one that looked like a square is the front so when you are going to place your dome cap on your mannequin head you should make sure that you place the square part at the front and the triangle part at the back that's the right way to do it if you do it the other way I don't know what's going to happen but don't try it I would not advise you to try it so now I'm going to mark my wig cap with this pencil that I bought from Amazon it came in a kit that I bought for my sewing machine with different threads so I decided to use it to make the mark because my silver my silver marker was not um, working. I think it's dried up. So I'm going to make like two inch parts on my dome cap as I did on the first video. And if you did not see that video, you can go over to my channel and look at that video. So this is me making my two inch um, sections. Well, I don't think it was it was two inches. I think I had made it a little bit closer because of the type of wig I was making. So say two, not to like one and a half inch apart. So it's kind of a little bit different, just a half inch different from the first one. Okay, so just a little bit different from the first one, but it's the same technique. You bring it around until you reach to the top. We're going to change it up a little. So now this is the top part of the wig. I'm making my center to make sure that where I end my circle is the right place. I don't want to end my circle too far back. And I do not want it too much in the front. So make sure you have that little dot in the top to make sure that that's your center part. Okay guys, so now we're going to go ahead and do the sewing on the machine. And I'm asking you guys, if you don't know how to use a sewing machine, go ahead and look at a tutorial and how to use a sewing machine before you start making your wig. It will help a lot because before now, girl, I did not know how to use a sewing machine. But now I am a pro, okay? So we're going to use the sewing machine first and do the back part of the wig and let's get into it.
Okay guys, now we're going to go on to sewing the rest of the hair by hand. I did not have to use my hand, but I just wanted to show you two techniques in one, which is sewing with the sewing machine and using my hand. So now we're just going to do, as we're doing a regular hair on a regular client, you put the needle into the Con roll, but this time it's the stacking cap or the dome cap, I must say. So guys, basically what we are going to do now is to make a U shape. So starting at the back of my mannequin at the last track that you see right here, I'm going to make a U and end it at the other side of the mannequin's head. So if you don't understand what I'm saying, just keep on watching and you will see. Okay guys, now we're going to make our closure. So this is pretty easy. All you need is a strip of hair. You're going to put some glue on it. Let the glue get a little bit tacky so that when you're rolling it into the circle, it's not going to come loose. So after I roll it, I'm going to find the middle and then I'm going to put the heat to it, the flat iron. I'm going to put it on top and that's it.
so this is the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching this is me in the picture and this is the wig that i just made i hope that you like it as much as i do and thank you for my subscribers i'm at 88 and i wish i could go more keep on liking and sharing my video thank you